Hey everybody, this is Jason from the Rogue Banshee. In this video, we're going to revisit the Crossbreed Reckoning Holster. It's been a while since we brought you the original video on this, and in the comments, you mentioned that you didn't like that we didn't show this in use. Quite frankly, that's before I was comfortable being in front of the camera. But now, let's take this out to the range and see it in action. revisit the crossbreed holster. Before we do anything, I do have my eyes on and my hearing protection on. So we are in a safe area in a range. The range is hot. Uh, I have the gun loaded and as you can see, I'm actually running the Polymer 80 grip module on my P320. So you can see that this grip module does fit in, in the Reckoning holster. So let's see this thing in action. So there you go. There's the crossbeat in action. Uh, I still, as I said before, I still do use this in my everyday carry. Uh, I do not like the inside the waistband holster, so I have this set up as outside the waistband. I just don't have the body for an inside the waistband holster. So uh, that's the nice thing about the crossbreed is that you can run this either in the waistband or outside the waistband. We're back at the range and I have the crossbreed set to be inside the waistband. I'm not a big inside the waistband fan, but I wanted to show you the uh, draw out of the inside the waistband and the use of the reckoning. So let's give this a try. So this is what I really don't like about inside the waistband holsters is for me, getting the gun back in is kind of a pain uh, just because everything's kind of folded over and pinched in there. But uh, as you can see, I was actually shooting the Wilson Combat, just like the Polymer 80, the Wilson Combat grip module for the P320 does fit the Reckoning holster. So um, that's the inside the waistband. I got a few questions on how the holster retains the gun and First of all, the gun is unloaded, so it is safe. And, you know, I put the gun in and I showed, you know, it held the gun, right? But one of the questions I had was, how does it retain the gun with a loaded magazine? You know, obviously I don't do that for safety reasons, but I did come up with a compromise to show you. This is one of my training magazines. I, uh, this is a 40. I have some bullets in here, but they're dummy rounds. Um, they're, they're loaded with some sand to give some weight. And I have this fake, I guess, follower put in there. So that way the rounds won't actually load as I cycle the, I guess cycle the slide, as you can see, nothing will load. So that way I can do a lot of dry fire practice with a weighted gun. So we're going to take this and put that in there and you can see it does hold the gun really well. Now, you know, you can add tension to the, um, the trigger guard there with this, or you can, you know, clamp them down. And with this being an outside the waistband holster, with this being up against my body also adds a little bit of tension in the back. So you'll have to change the tension around, but yeah, <laughs> to get your ideal draw, this one's set for me. And as you can see with a weighted gun, it's not having any problems retaining that, that actual gun. So that's the retention tests. I got a bunch of questions about the trigger guard retention device, which is right here. And what happens is you screw this uh, screw in and this little tab kind of bends out and puts tension on the underneath of the trigger guard. Um, so that way it kind of pushes, you know, 
the gun up a little bit into the holster and you just get a little more retention of the holster rather than relying on the molding on the trigger guard itself. So, you know, that will give you a little bit of, of retention. This just gives you a little more retention. Now, this device is not anything special. Um, I believe I bought this on holster kits. So that's all it is. It's actually a magazine retention device. So, you know, as you th that, thread that in, this just spreads out and puts the tension onto the trigger guard. Now, switching from outside the waistband to inside the waistband, there was a question about that. Did I need to retention this? Um, I didn't. Um, I found that it held no problem because I'm moving this screw and two of these screws to change this around. It just didn't um, affect it any for me, so I didn't. I really didn't have any problems with this. Um, now, if you bought the this is an inside the waistband gun, um, you know you can. These are these clips are um, are extra. You know they don't come with the holster. Uh, again. <laughs> on the internet. These are nothing new. Um, I bought these at the same place I bought this, which again, I think was um, like holstersmith.com. Uh, I think it's run, they're run by uh, knife kits. So all these parts are just really off the shelf. Nothing, you know, there's nothing proprietary to Crossbreed other than the shell itself and, you know, the backing. So, um, you know, if you really wanted to, you could probably build one of these with no problems, just using off the off the shelf parts. But yes, the trigger guard retention device didn't really have to mess with that too much. Once I had it set, it it just held my attention, no problem. Another concern that we had um, in the comments was converting it from outside the waistband to inside the waistband and back. Uh, I don't do it very often. Uh, I, again, I'm not an inside the waistband kind of person. So uh, I don't, I leave it outside the waistband. My inside the waistband um, components are sitting in the bag with all the other parts. So uh, I just don't do it. It's not convenient. Um, it can be done in a few minutes, but you know, I don't like changing it around. You know, once I have a holster set, I just like to leave it alone. So um, you could, but again, I don't know. Usually you're either an inside the waistband holster person or outside the waistband holster. I do realize that depending on you know, your mood or what the weather is doing, you might change it seasonally. I don't, I just stay outside the waistband and keep it that way for two years now. Uh, as I said before, this is my everyday carry for when I am carrying my P320. Uh, I do have other guns that I carry. I use other holsters for, um, not because I don't like the crossbreed. I, I do like the crossbreed reckoning holster. It's just that I had other holsters and I don't feel a need to buy another holster for a gun that I already have a holster for that works perfectly fine. If that holster were to fail, I probably would go replace it with another uh, Reckoning. Um, I really do like the holster. Uh, 